We expand the feature set of our resource scheduler with some new features. The first one is filtering of the contacts based on the department. When we create an appointment, the dialog renders only the contacts that are from this department. The next feature is restrictions about the time when appointments can be created. This includes modification of appointments. As you see, when we try to move an appointment to a non-work area, the action is cancelled. The same is when we try to create a new appointment. We print a message in the console. You can see it here. First, we will define an array called All Contacts. We will store there all employees, the contact instances. We will also assign a tag with the name of the department to each contact. In order to filter the contacts based on the tag, we will use the section and event. The calendar class has a lot of events. The item creating event looks like a good match for what we try to do, but we ignore it and go for selection end. The reason is that item creating is not raised before the user presses the save button on the form. We prefer not to render any form at all, so we handle selection end. If we look at the arguments of the selection end event, you will see we can get the start and end time of the selection. We will use this information to determine if we should allow the event to be created. So we cancel the event if the selection is outside the time interval from 9 to 18 o'clock. Now if we refresh the page, we are not able to create events outside work hours. We will use the static method getDayOfWeek to get the index of the weekday for the selection. The days are numbered from 0 to 6. So, if the event falls on the 0th or 6th day, we cancel the event. As you see, now we can read in the console that this time events are not allowed during the weekend. We will add contact filtering the following way. We clear all contacts from the schedule and cycle through the array that held all contacts. We choose those that have the same tag as the name of the resource that is provided as an argument to the event. If the names are the same, we add the contact. So, now when the new appointment form shows on selection end, it contains only the contacts for the department, for which we want to create an appointment. Here we see that the only contact available is Lillian Cortez. If we check our code, we can see that Lillian Cortez is really the only contact registered with tag research and development. In order to stop items being dragged or resized to non-working days and hours of the schedule, we use the item modifying event. The event arguments include action, changes, item, and of course cancel. The action is important because there are a lot of ways to modify an item, edit, delete, and so on. We are only interested in drag and resize. The changes argument has the data that was changed. 
The changes are not transferred to the item yet and since the event is raised throughout the modification, the changes might still be null. So we wait when there are changes to see if the user is trying to modify the item in a way that is not acceptable to the application logic. Now if we try to drag an event outside the work hours it does not happen. We try to resize it outside the work hours, still no effect, it works as it should. And this is the end of our tutorial. You can download the source code from the link in the video description. Thank you for watching and thank you for your interest in MindFusion tools.